Hey guys, welcome back to Retro Rivals. You're probably wondering why we have our Xbox Series X and original Xbox on the table. We want to talk about backwards compatibility. The reason why we're focusing on the Xbox itself is because the hardware failures involving the clock capacitor there are other issues other than just a call it a there is capacitor, but uh, that's, that's the biggest one that's the biggest one that comes yeah. to mind there is only one version of the xbox that doesn't have the clock capacitor issues we're worried about how we will play our physical media in the future if this doesn't pan out all the way what she means by pan out all the way is that the library for the original Xbox is a thousand and one games. A thousand and one games. And as we're recording this video right now, as far as original Xbox games go that are backwards compatible on this, there are 38. When we checked the other day, there were 37. Yep. So they did add one They more. did add one. So I'm hoping now that the Xbox Series X is, is out now, that they're gonna start focusing more on backwards compatibility and, yeah. and add way more games to the library. Um, I do realize that the Xbox 360 can play a lot. Probably, That's true. don't quote me on the number, but I think it's around half or slightly more than half the original Xbox games can be played on your 360. Yeah. So you would think the odds are if you stick a disc in there that it's gonna work. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because <laughs> some of those older 360s there, they're starting to fail too because the hardware on those really suck. Red ring. Um, they had red ring issues. Yeah. Now I'm having uh, read disc error problems yeah. there on mine. What we're gonna talk about is out of the 38 original Xbox games that is backwards compatible on this right now, we're gonna tell you uh, I think we have five. We have a list of five games that you should get yep. right now because they are going up in value or they're a little bit harder to yep. find, a little bit pricier. A lot of these games you can probably pick up for five or ten dollars. But Most of the 38 <clears throat> games yeah. are actually cheaper to pick up a physical copy than it is to buy it digitally. Yeah. Yeah, I was shocked, yeah. especially there was one on the list, Destroy All Humans. Yeah. That's easily a five, ten dollar game all day long. Yeah. And it's nineteen ninety nine digitally. And I'm like, no. Now I'm <laughs> sure they're getting some kind of a remastered version of whatever. Maybe, but yeah. correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, because you probably will. If you have a physical copy of the disc when you put it in the machine, it just downloads that copy. Yeah. You're not actually playing that disc on your machine. No, it acts like a key yeah. to get that download. So I think it's just all coming from Game Pass. I did want to mention too, uh, as far as right now, there are 3,027 Xbox One games you can play on yeah. your Xbox Series X or Xbox Series S. There's 485 yes, 360, 360 games. And there are 38 original Xbox games and one cartridge in a pair of mm -hmm. But don't okay. put that in there because I don't know if it'll work. <laughs> we have a list of five games. Do you want to start off? I know you played one of these I'm in quite the a bit. I'm in the process of playing this one. On the, the, this, this game I'm going to name right now is the one that I put into this machine. It's yep. the first one I play in this, on this machine because they didn't come out with anything new that I wanted. Yeah. Really, so. yeah. It's Panzer Dragoon Orta. And um, it looks great. It looks great. I'm, I'm playing it on my 65-inch screen. It sounds great. Yeah. And, and even for an Xbox OG game, it was one of those games that you were like, wow, this, this is an Xbox game? Like an original Xbox game? Yeah, this is one of those games that collectors are starting to pursue a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, as we're recording this video, it's actually on sale on the... Uh, Game Pass like for like five something. Is it actual Game Pass or is it the Microsoft Store? It might be the is Microsoft Store. Game Pass, Store? you have access to everything. <clears throat> right? Yeah. If you want to outright buy a game? I think that's like the Microsoft Store. Yeah. Maybe you can pop it up. I don't know. I'm confused. We are going to put the link for where to find this backwards compatibility list. So if you guys yep. want to check it out yourself, but we plan on updating it mon monthly, and it's kind of a timeline for us too to see how. 
you know, over the months, how much <clears throat> that has grown, if the if yeah. the list has grown at all. Well, out of these 38, I don't even have half of them in my collection yet. Well, you did order a couple the other day. <laughs> I think I checked them off, but I don't know. I, I don't know. I have my sheets right here. Uh, I did want to mention that Panzer Dragoon is price charting guy, $45 Canadian, but... Pop up the American conversion there if you'd like. Yeah, yeah. I will tell you, around here, people are asking 60 Yes. So. So, what I typically do if I'm going to try to buy it on eBay is that, you know, I'll very PC friendly, nicely just quote the price I found online and you know sometimes they'll bend a little bit sometimes they'll be like well due to you know yeah oh, I can get this all day long at this price yes but more often than not you seem to get deals I do sometimes they'll come back with you know well supply and demand that's why it's priced at this I'm like yeah but how about we meet in the middle I'd feel a little bit more comfortable getting closer to that price how do you feel and then most times if, if you're if you're good about it if you're nice about it if you're not trying to really lowball anybody you can get it closer to that price guide so that's why we tend to quote this yeah. instead of ebay because hey why not try to get it for that price so the next one we have on the list is the elder scrolls 3 morrowind this one here to get complete may be more difficult than some of the other ones because yes. there was a map that came with the game yeah and to actually get a fully complete get your manual and get a map get a good disc box art and all that Although the game itself is not very expensive. No, it's not. It's not. The problem with us here in Canada, I can get a game on eBay, no problem. They typically ask, let's say $25, $30, mm -hmm. but then to get it shipped to Canada is another $25. I know. So a $20 game now just costs me $50. Exactly. And, and this game was price uh, charted at 20 We were shocked that it was that low in the price charting because yeah. of the fact that it's just not that low on eBay. There are greatest hits versions. <laughs> there are greatest hits. Do you hits. know what those price chart at? Uh, Didn't look it up. It was it was slightly <clears throat> cheaper, like five eight dollars cheaper, yeah. but yeah, it wasn't. There wasn't a big price difference except when you look for it online. It's it's going to be more than the twenty that they're quoting. Yeah. Because of that, but then again, try to use that to your advantage. I don't have that one either. No, you don't the have only, that one. On this five, I only have the top one. My yeah. Panzer Dragoon. Yeah, I know. So we're hoping to start checking these off the list. And yep. I I would really like to get Elder Scrolls. I think it would yeah. be awesome to have. You, you like you like the yeah, I do. Elder Scrolls series. The next one on the list is Conquerors Live and Reload It. And this has been on our list. I can't find it around town. We, we haven't ha had any luck. And every eBay thing that I see is overpriced. Yes. Straight out. Right out the door, overpriced, plus the extra shipping. It's way too much. Yeah. It looks like a super fun game. Just a really fun, easy sit down, pass the time game. There's some adult humor to it. Yeah. 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 And that's really cool. Uh, that is price charted at $45 Canadian. I can't <laughs> even get it for... All right, Boots, I'm gonna do it again. No? No? I can't even... <laughs> <laughs> All right. I can't even get that, I think, for $55. No. On eBay. No. Because of the stupid shipping. Yeah. And I honestly don't think I've seen it, not even once. I've never seen it. No. Not in town. Not, not, no. No, we haven't. It's not to say it, it's, it hasn't been out there, Well, but yeah, we just may have missed it. There are other collectors here. Yep. So. It's not just us. Well, I wish it was. Although, if you guys could all step aside and just let us have the deals. Yeah. Just let us know and then send us and we'll go pick them up. It's fine. Yeah. We can do it. The next game on the list is the King of Fighters Neo Wave. I know nothing about this game. This one... <laughs> Well, it's a King of Fighters game. Yeah. It's arcade well, I've seen King of Fighters, style. Yeah. Like, here's how I would describe it to you. It's very Street Fighter-ish. Oh, okay. Okay? That kind well, of style I'm sure. fighting game. Is the King of Fighters not on our Pandora's box? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've okay. Well, then, then I've seen it on there. Yeah. Yeah. So, this one here is the most expensive on eBay. It is, but not on this list. No, it's not. No. Um, 
I was trying to find one the other day, and the cheapest one I could get was sixty-four dollars. That's crazy. It was in Canada, so the shipping was free. But <laughs> trust me, I'm paying for it. Like I'll let you bucks. guys take a quick second here to try to guess what it is on the price charting guide, and it's thirty-five. So why mm. is it almost thirty dollars more on eBay? I'm gonna have to work my magic and see if I can get it for cheaper. Yeah, you should. Yeah, I'll try. I did get you another game for cheaper that's yeah, you did. on the Xbox. Yeah. And um, I don't know how much we can talk about it because it's a banned game, but we're gonna test the waters here. Is it banned in Canada? It's banned in certain parts of the states. I don't know if it's banned in Canada. We'll have to look it up. Oh, we'll have if to look it up. If it's not banned in Canada, I think we can get away with it. To a certain extent. We probably can't show a whole lot of gameplay. <sighs> no. Or any. No. So. No. We can talk about it. We can talk about the whole thing. Right? Yeah. We're getting way we're, off topic. We're off topic again. The last game on the list is Psychonauts. I don't have a clue about this game at all. It's the first time I've ever seen the cover. I don't either. <laughs> you think we would have did a little bit of research about this, but no. we just wanted to be authentic about it. What we're going on is based by price and where yeah. it's gone up, like we we checked the, I guess, what would it be called? Like the chart, you'll see the price rise and it's- Oh, it's creepy. I don't ever, I never look at that thing. That's I always you, do. Yeah. And it's been continually on the rise. You know, if I'm a betting person and this being the 20th, actually 2021 in November. We are coming into your 20th birthday, boy. Exactly. So those games are, I think, are going to continue to go up. The ones yeah, that. Yeah. Now it's going to be classified as an anti. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so yeah, uh, we'll throw some gameplay in of Psychonauts, and and then yeah. we'll get to know what it then is. Then I'll get to see what it is too. Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, this one was 40, and yep. we haven't really looked around to see. How how much it was because we wasn't really on our radar at the time no but yeah so we uh, we want to continue this as long as the uh, as long as Xbox or Microsoft continues to add more yeah to their list backwards compatibility list maybe on a monthly basis or even after they add added at least five games yeah then we can do a quick show update tell people what's on there for the most part the 38 games that are on here, you can find out in the wild cheaper than you can go and buy it digitally. And so, the majority of them are Splinter Cells and Star Wars. There's a lot of Star Wars. There's a lot of Splinter Cells. There's uh, There are a few other shooters like Black. There's Black and Mercenaries, Crimson and we'll, Skies. And we'll pop up you know. the entire list for you guys to see. Fusion Frenzy is a really good, fun party game. It is, and it's super yeah. cheap. We really enjoyed it. We sat down here, what, three, four of us? Was it three of us or four of us? Did three of us. Three of us, yeah, and played yeah. it for a couple hours one night, and we had a blast. Yeah. We played Grab by the Ghoulies there. That's a more of a kid-friendly Halloween style yeah, game. Yeah, a little bit, controls are a little bit wonky. They are a little little wonky, for sure. Yeah. But yeah, a lot of, some sports games, a lot of Splinter Cell, a lot of Star Wars. There was a sports game on there? Well... Oh, if Star Wars. Oh, wow. I if don't... you consider that a sports game and that a sports game, those would be classified in my mind as right. sports game titles. I, I think of like, you say sports, I think of hockey, baseball, football. Basketball. Yeah. Yeah. Anything in football. <laughs> yeah. Right? Other than that, I think that's it. Yeah. So yeah, I'm hoping you guys stay tuned next month. We'd like to continue the series. I but... hope there'll be something to have for next month. Now, like Who we knows? said, they from two days ago when I started researching this and looking up games, they had actually added a game to this. They list. did add a game, so that gives us some sort of hope that they'll continue to add yeah. games on. And yeah, we'll we'll check in next month anyways, even if they haven't added anything. Maybe we'll, you know, we'll sit here all disappointed with a <laughs> big glass of alcohol. Oh, well, that's yeah. Good. I mean, Scott's having coffee today, but we gotta work. We gotta work later, so. We gotta pay for the games, right? If anybody's missing us drinking on camera while we talk Nobody's about Nobody's missing it more than me. Nobody's missing it more than us, exactly. We've just been working lots and lots. I feel like a news reporter. Yep. <laughs> Until next time, guys, game on. 
<coughs> Let me clear my throat. COVID? Yeah. Probably. Probably. Yeah. Or the seasonal flu, but probably COVID.